Hello everybody, welcome to Tom's Tips and we're doing this one from the garden shed today because uh, it's a lot brighter in here and it's a lot pleasanter place to be at the moment so uh, today's tip is AJ he's a, who is our marketing um, director on, on the forum has asked me can you file out um, a capillary coupling to make a slip coupling what I don't know to be honest I've never tried it because uh, the capillary couplings and elbows are always hard to get on anyway because of the solder ring that's it's, it's inside them so it's not a, a good thing to do but I have done it before with uh, normal end feed couplings made a slip coupling from them which is quite easy and I'm going to show you how to do it I thought I'd done a video on it actually but I've a look round uh, I can't find it so I'll do another one now so this is what I would do this is the coupling that we're going to make into a slip coupling now that's just an ordinary end feed coupling there's a dividing line there but it's just it's just a, a ridge and all we've got to do is get past that ridge so what we'll do first of all is put flux on the pipe now this is Laco flux which is the best type of flux to use if you want to make that slippy if you use power flow it'll make it grippy so that's the difference and uh, of course we'll clean this and flux this in too now we're going to put our ordinary coupling on that pipe then we're using a twat it with the hammer and it'll go past that ridge without too much trouble on well, something solid it were anyway. So you see that it's up to the end now. So all I need to do now is to get that back from there along the pipe. Okay, so we'll put a witness mark now about there and using your guide from the bender knock it back to your witness mark and there you are a coupling and you've not paid a lot of money for that coupling either right so till next time it's a good night from me. It's a good night from me too.